Together, we are connected. Okay, so hope you're as excited as we are because the new adventure is about to start. Just a little housekeeping before we get started. If you have any questions during the presentation, please type them into the Q&A box in your Zoom control panel or click the raise hand button below. So we will check them up during the presentation and we'll also be running a live Q&A at the end of the webinar. So while you're asking your questions, it will be the best if you can leave your company names next to your questions so we can know who we are answering to. So now I will turn the time over to the product line manager, Justin Lin, for the coming section. Justin. Hello, everyone. My name is Justin Lin, product line manager of the ICL headquarters. Uh, I think today is a uh, exciting moment that uh, we are about to add in the uh, advanced threat protection to the uh, Nebula. So the idea is basically, um, well, our strategy and direction, we are trying to transform the uh, Nebula platform from a uh, network management system over to a uh, comprehensive security solution where the uh, wireless, wired firewall and also the uh, advanced threat protection are all integrated in the SQL solution. So that means in addition to the uh, integration of the uh, Huawei products, the switches, Wi-Fi firewall, in addition to that part, we also integrating our clouds, the Nebula clouds and the ISO security clouds and our security public clouds. All these are clouds working together and we believe this will truly helping our customer to build a uh, Asian network with the uh, productivity and also with the highest level of security. So now that the journey begins. Uh, we've been launching Nebula in the market for more than three years. So at the moment, uh, the number of devices managed on the Nebula platform already passing the uh, 200,000 mark. So I believe this is a uh, significant uh, achievement that proves that uh, the market recognizes Nebula solution very much, all right? And the design philosophy of the Nebula is always uh, best to deploy and simple to manage. So imagine you're about to deploy a network with uh, hundreds of access points, tens of switches, tens of firewalls, and those physical locations are spanning across different geo locations. And in that scenario, how you can easily uh, do the job, right? So with Nebula, basically what it, it begins from the, uh, the cloud. So from the cloud, you could uh, basically pre-configure the network, including the, the devices, for example, the SSIDs, security policies, right? And after that, you just structure the uh, hardware product, the access point, the firewall switch to the uh, physical location for the deployment, and then power up the power up device, uh, connect cable device, connect to the uh, Nebula cloud. And from there, the Nebula will do the rest for you. That including the Nebula will push the firmware to the device and download the uh, configuration file from the Nebula. Right, so it's basically, and the device will be just up and running. So the process is quite simple, and it is very useful for large scale deployment. So I would say it's like a uh, plug and play experience, right, to make the IT flight easier, right. So, um, let me tell you. so in, in addition to that. Uh, design. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, nice and clean dashboard of the family. So by nature, Nebula was designed with the multi tenant architecture. So uh, for, the, for some partners, they are managing uh, multiple customers network. So with the multi tenant design, they could isolate the different customer ne uh, network data, right? And they could easily to manage different customers, switch in between different organizations of different customers, right? And then there is a overview, nice and clean. So you can easily from there see uh, how many of the network devices was managed by Nebula and how many of them is, are in a healthy condition, the access points, switches, firewalls, and how, many, uh, how much POE budget was consumed, right? 
So these are critical factors uh, for you to uh, manage your network, right? The first. And the second, there's an uh, overview. So not just the uh, device health needs, you can always uh, very easily to uh, get a grip of the uh, uh, traffic usage. So this is quite important, particularly in some hotspot networks, you want to see the wireless usage, right? And in addition to that, you can also uh, take a look at the uh, application usage. So you can understand uh, what kind of application occupy the top uh, usage in your network. And we even got an app. So again, in the app, you can uh, basically get a grip of the network healthiness of all your the network devices you are managing. So it's just like get the status in your home, right? So this is the, uh, the, uh, the classical design that, and lots of the customer enjoy this uh, dashboard. All right, and the next very important DNA of the Nebula is the, uh, uh, cloning the uh, network configuration from one to another, right? So this is the, uh, the, the fundamental thing that we truly helping IT to efficiently managing uh, larger scale networks, right? So no matter you are uh, synchronizing the uh, settings of the access point or the switches or the firewalls, so with Nebula, uh, it will uh, help you to uh, do that uh, efficiently, that's first. And the second thing is, you, you don't change SSID every day, right? You probably do it uh, at a deployment. However, for the security settings, right? Since Nebula is, we are fully integrated with firewalls, then from time to time, you have a demand to change the settings. For example, you are adding more category in the content building, or you are tweaking the uh, IP reputation settings for all the firewalls. So in that case, uh, it is uh, uh, the demand that how we could uh, helping customer can uh, you know uh, synchronizing the security settings across different firewalls. This has become very important. So with the Nebula, uh, the security already uh, becomes the DNA of the Nebula. So we call this security profile sync. This feature will truly helping customer to uh, manage the secure policy across different network sites, right? And since Nebula is a cloud management platform, so what if something went wrong on the ground, right? So no problem. The Nebula packed with a bunch of troubleshooting tools. So this could help in customer to find a problem and deal with the problem. So just give a few examples. The remote COI, it's just helping the customer just like sitting in front of the device. So from the remote COI, you can do lots of troubleshooting tasks, right? And cable diagnostics uh, is quite useful for the switch, right? And not to mention, uh, we packed with a bunch of, uh, of legacy uh, network troubleshooting tools like speed test, ping, trash route, this kind of thing. So you can easily find the narrow parameters you need. And topology is quite useful because you can easily find there to see which device is connected to another one. So as an essential part, when you do really need to do the troubleshooting. And not to mention, uh, the Nebula is a cloud-based platform, so all the event log was stored safe and sound in the cloud. So you don't have to worry about finding the hardware to keep track of your logs, or you don't have to uh, worry about the value of the hard disk, never, okay? And the last thing I would I like to share is the uh, user auditing information. This is important. That, but what is that? It is that basically uh, the Nebula will keep track of the changes made to the settings of the organization and the devices. So it's, it is very useful when, when you are doing the auditing. So you basically understand who made what kind of change to what, what device, right? So this is important. All right. All right. So uh, if we recall in April, that's the first time we integrated ISO's uh, professional grade firewall to the Nebula USG Flex. And now we take step further by uh, adding the uh, top of line ATP series firewall to the, uh, to the Nebula, right? So this is the, uh, the milestone we are achieving. And that means, that means all the firewall, uh, all the ISO uh, security products, okay, no matter it's entry level use 20 firewall, mid-range UG flex or top of line AD firewalls are now integrated with the Nebula. So they are they could work together with the, our wide range of access point and also uh, Ethernet switches. This is all glued in by the Nebula, right? Uh, 
What it means, we bring the uh, ATP to the uh, nebula. Basically, that means uh, the full-blown security metrics now to be provisioned from the nebula. So again, it's the integration of the nebula cloud and also uh, like so the security, uh, like so security cloud, right? So the sig signature features like uh, sandboxing and also the uh, reputation built, right? Are now all available from the nebula. So from the reputation filter, it's a quite efficient way to, to act as the first layer of defense of the customer's network. So it's quite efficient. It, it could uh, determine the threat by IP or by DNS or by the URL, right? So almost 70% of the threats could be blocked by the reputation filter. So I would say it's a very effective first layer of defense of every customer's network, right? And I would like to share more about the uh, sandboxing because uh, uh, sandboxing is a technology. It's quite expensive in the past, so it's only uh, available to the uh, enterprise sectors, right? A couple of years ago, as I said, we were in introducing the ATP series firewall, which is the first SMB uh, sandboxing firewall uh, to, uh, to the market, right? And now uh, we take that further to integrate that ATP into the network. So how it works is uh, as whenever the, uh, the ATP firewall uh, detect a uh, known uh, file or you can call it malware okay and then it will basically send a file send a file to the uh, life security cloud for further analysis so in the life security cloud we, we are basically uh, hosting a uh, sandboxing environment so we will through the file into the uh, that isolated environment trigger the execution of the file then observing the behavior of the file then we could determine if the file is uh, malicious or it's a legitimate file Right. So from that process, basically what, what, what we get is we could uh, convert that unknown uh, malware over to the known threats. Right. So this is the process that we could uh, helping our customer to deal with the uh, unknown threat. Right. So on top of that, uh, the uh, through the sandboxing process, you basically could uh, the output is the threat intelligence. Right, you know which file is malicious and that file is malicious. You didn't know this before, but now you know that they are malicious, right? So we basically, what we are doing in the uh, Secure Cloud, we will uh, collecting and consolidating all these uh, threat intelligence generated by the sandboxing process, right? And we call it the uh, threat intelligence machine learning. Through that process, uh, we will basically create a uh, ever evolving new threat intelligence. And after that, we will populate that uh, threat intelligence uh, to all the ATP firewalls deployed in the worldwide. So imagine that's like, it works like an ecosystem, right? Every ATP deployed in the field, it's, it acts like a uh, threat sensor, right? So as long as it detects something which is unknown, then send to the sandboxing process and we convert that into the threat intelligence and we aggregate that intelligence and populate back to all the ATP firewalls. So this process could uh, ensure all the customers, uh, they get the latest uh, protection, okay. okay? No matter that that is threat happen in the North America or in Europe or in the APEC, no problem. This threat intelligence could be shared among the globe, right? So this is the process we are proud of to truly helping our customer increase the security level. All right, so we kind of change angle from the uh, defense over to uh, controlling the network behavior, right? Uh, now in this uh, post pandemic era, uh, we all know that hybrid, hybrid work will become, definitely become the new normal. Uh, I remember the other day I saw news that um, Microsoft, they, they determined to call off the plan to, to have all their employees to go back to work at office, right? So Microsoft is just one example, but this example could, could imply all the companies, they, they will stay with the hybrid work for a long, long, long time, right? So what does that mean to the, uh, to the uh, business, to the SMBs? That means uh, the network parameter is no longer fixed, right? So in the days to come, the network parameter will become more Asia, more fluid type. So it's not fixed in the headquarter. The employees could be working from the branch or could be working from home or could be working uh, on the go, right? So this is the 
we introduced a severe challenge to IT, how to build agile uh, new infrastructure to support the hybrid work while maintaining the uh, security level, right? So this is a true, a, a true challenge to the IT. So let's take a look of the Nebula solution, how we could helping our customer to deal with this, uh, this hybrid work uh, uh, network. The first thing is, uh, again, we are proud to announce is that the Nebula, we are uh, now we could uh, provision the uh, secure extender VPN clients, right? So this is an ex extension of our solution from the headquarter over to the uh, endpoints that the employee carry their laptops and working from the remotes. And now that could, the policy could be provisioned from Nebula centrally, right? So this is the uh, one exciting information I would like to share with, with our partners that we are in October, the Nebula could provision the secure extender that's the first thing. And let's see uh, the concept, the idea here. Since the uh, employee working from the remote to accessing the uh, office networks, so there are a couple of things we, we need to ensure. First, the, the, we need to create a secure tunnel to make sure that the data transmission is secure, right? So this is a ground job of the uh, secure extender. That's first. And the second thing is we taking the uh, zero trust approach. So always verify before the access is being allowed, all right? So the uh, two-factor authentication is supported from this uh, secure tunnel. So before the uh, remote employee uh, is, is allowed to access office network, he in, in, is required to pass the uh, two-factor authentication with the popular Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator, right? So this is the very important security practice we do for our customers to making sure the maximum security in their network, right? And then another thing we are thinking of is the productivity. Imagine there are 10, 20 of the employees, they accessing the office network at the same time. So that could, could create the, the problem that could slow down the uh, performance of the, of the uh, headquarter uh, office gateway, all right? So with the Nebula here, we could uh, provision the, uh, the uh, traffic usage and that traffic bounded for the, uh, office network, all right? Then the, the software, the security extender could uh, throttle traffic, okay? So the policy is centrally provisioned from Nebula. So that means the IT will get a, uh, a uh, solution to really uh, control the uh, traffic usage originated from the uh, remote security extender. So I would say this is the balance of the uh, productivity and also the security, right? And another angle, you look into this uh, hybrid work is what if the employee work at home? What if employee work at home, right? So we offer the uh, we call it the secure Wi-Fi solution. So basically, that's the access point deployed at the uh, employee's household. So from there, you uh, all the uh, configuration settings, including the SSID and also the security two way everything was provisioned from the Nebula at first. So it's easy and simple. And the second is uh, the remote AP is capable to support cable security attributes. The first is if you will layer to tunnel, right? So this is truly surely for the productivity because imagine you are just like you are sitting in the uh, office, you get the same IP address, okay? You accessing the same VLAN, right? And you are using the same printers, for example. So that's a streamline the working experience. Even the employees work from home as first. And the second is security. So the remote AP is capable to uh, uh, deploy the uh, 2FA. So again, before that employees being allowed to access the network, okay, we apply the strong uh, two-factor authentication to, to ensure the identity of the uh, employee, right? So this is the uh, solution I would say is, uh, again, this balance of the productivity and also the security. Well, the last thing we do from Nebula is collaboration, okay? Uh, remember Nebula glued every networking devices together. So now we take step further to, uh, to incorporate these devices to making sure that they, they are working together to achieve better level of security. So the CDI is a feature we launched already and this is a, a pretty much appreciate, appreciated from uh, many of our customers. So the idea is as long as the uh, threat event was detected by the sensor, which means that that could be the UAG flex firewall or the ATP firewalls. And then these events will be collected from the uh, Nebula. And Nebula will be acting like a uh, commander, right? So as long as the 
a predefined threshold was met, the nebula will tell the access point to black death ray event from the nebula edge. Right? So basically, this is a this, the the uh, quarantine or blocking is at the layer two. So this is the most efficient way to stop the threat entering from entering your nebula. All right. And visibility of your network is always important, right? We're talking about so many uh, security uh, defense, uh, security controls, right? So in the end, as an IT professional, you need to uh, understand what exactly happened in your network. So Nebula integrates with Zysel renowned security portal. So now you can very easily from that cloud portal to see uh, what threat event happened uh, in your network. I'm not talking about just one firewall, but multiple firewalls, right? So uh, you can easily understand what kind of uh, common field category uh, was most uh, most uh, most event from that category at first, or you want to see what uh, the sandboxing uh, analytics for files was uploaded and, and identified as a threat, or you can uh, check the, uh, the most popular uh, malware detected in your networks. So these are the uh, quite useful tool for customer to understand the uh, security level in your network. All right, so after introducing so much uh, new products and features, uh, we, we change our subject to another thing is, we want to, uh, the, the idea is we try to helping our partner to uh, easier to managing their license business, business right? So, why license? We are talking about so many uh, security features. In the security business, uh, what we sell is the trust, not just the hardware, right? How we sell the trust. So when we sell trust, basically the idea is selling the uh, subscription, right? So that's the uh, recursive business with our partner. And that's also the commitment to our, uh, our customers, right? So traditionally, uh, lots of Zysel partners, when they sell the Zysel firewall, and normally this firewall comes with the uh, license subscription. So imagine a bar, they are managing tens or even hundreds of customers firewalls and each firewall comes with different licenses and each license contract comes with different expiration date, right? So hundreds of devices and you need to look into every device to be careful which device and which license are, is going to, to be expired. So you need to renew the license for your customer. And basically that's a uh, cumbersome process that really uh, you need really need to spend lots of time to do that job right and Zysel circle is the solution to helping customers we deliver a simple way to helping our partners to do the light license life cycle management right so let's take a look what Zysel circle can do for our partner to make their life easier right so the first thing is the uh, integration of the accounts and also the network asset devices from the uh, mylesser.com or from the Nebula, right? So no matter you are managing your customer firewall on-premise, because traditionally lots of partners managing our customer firewall for the on-premise mode, or you are managing your customer network from the uh, Nebula, right? Circle support both. So you can basically uh, synchronize your accounts from these uh, two portals, and also you can import all the network access from mylesser or from the Nebula, right? That's first thing, ASIC. And the second thing is uh, renew, license renewal, right? Uh, traditionally, if our partner want to, to uh, renew the license, they first need to look up, uh, okay, which license to renew for this appliance, for this firewall. And the second, they need to purchase a license from the uh, license channel, right? This could take from half to at most three days, right? And then after that, you get a license, you get a license key, and also uh, in the end, you need to activate the license uh, for that uh, customer, right? So this is the process before. But with Circle, that, that process would become uh, very, very, very easy. The whole process was happened from the Circle platform. So the end-to-end uh, -end time would be uh, less than 10 minutes, right? So this is the truly helping uh, our partner to reduce the time required to managing customers' licenses of every device they managed. And next exciting thing is about the activation, all right? So auto activation means that from the circle platform, basically what we designed is the, the uh, key list activation, 
So there's no more license keys. No. You just finish the transaction, then the activation will be automatically fulfilled by the uh, Circle platform, right? So this is the uh, very nice feature for our partner. This is really resolving the pain point for years, right? And then it's the contract alignment, right? In the same case, okay, you are managing 100 firewall for your customer. So every firewall comes with different expiration date, right? So with the, this feature uh, license uh, alignment, you basically could align the expiration date of each licenses. So imagine you can synchronize all the contract period for every firewall you manage. So you just do that once every year, right? So comparing the two scenarios, you can see uh, how, how we really helping our partners to make the life easier. And the last thing is the integration with the Nebula. A Nebula, we are uh, now in beginning April, we will introduce a new licensing scheme. So in the organization, every Nebula device must be uh, entitled with uh, a uh, Nebula license, all right? So that will create a trouble because uh, there are so many devices in a single uh, organization, right? So with Circle, this is a solution to, 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 to solve the problem, right? No matter how many devices are in the Nebula organization, with Circle, they could, they could uh, first import all the assets into Circle, then uh, doing the uh, license renewal automatically for all of the device managed, and also align the uh, license contract period for every devices in the organization. So this is the ultimate solution for our partner to managing license in the Nebula. All right, so, uh, Hope you like it, the solution we offered uh, to you. And in the end of the uh, session, I would like to share with you some uh, successful, successful cases we view in the, uh, in the past two years. And during the pandemic era, uh, we have a customer which is a big name, the Red Cross in Germany. They have a need to build the uh, network devices in their remote, uh, remote branches, right? So how they choose the Nebula solution. So again, the DNA of the Nebula is uh, simple, uh, fast to deploy and simple to manage. So this is really helping the Red Cross building the, the uh, network really fast, right, and easily. A second case I would like to share is the, uh, the uh, university in the Thailand, RMUTT, right? They basically, they have a, they, they try to uh, renew their wireless network infrastructure. So how they pick up this uh, Nebula wireless solution. So, so this project was uh, years ago, right? So how they pick up is the uh, wireless AC, right? With our uh, uh, NWA 1302, wireless AC access point and all the way to the 6552, all right? So they pick up a branch of the firewalls all managed by the Nebula. So this, this could, uh, uh, increase the performance of the, of the wireless network and also helping to easily to manage the large, large scale of wireless uh, in the uh, campus. And the last thing is uh, a, a case we are, uh, we are very exciting about is the uh, such a case in uh, Singapore, the Changi Airport. They, they want to re renew their, their the Wi-Fi system in their workers dormitory, right? So this is the, uh, the uh, signature uh, success story we want in the uh, Asia Pacific region, all right? We are talking about one cent solid access point for that uh, Changi Airport, all right? So hope you like it. And now in the last part of the presentation, it's time to take a look at the wide range of the Nebula uh, portfolio, right? So yeah, a couple of things. The first is the automate series. So this is for the uh, serious customers. So again, Nebula is a, a comprehensive uh, security solution. So we, we integrate the uh, wireline uh, switches and also the uh, access points and also the advanced uh, threat protection firewall, the ATP series, right? So uh, with that, uh, the ATP, again, the sandboxing and uh, reputation filter, this is can truly helping the customer to increase in the security level, right? And the uh, switching power, Nebula, Nebula Flex Pro switches, uh, we have the uh, uh, best seller GS2220 series, that's a managed switch, and also the top of line XS3800 series switch. And this is uh, for SMB to build their access and also the core network, right? 
And over to the access point, the extreme series of the access point, it's, they are all uh, Wi-Fi 6 APs equipped with the smart antenna. So it's guaranteed to deliver the best Wi-Fi performance and also uh, easy to manage by the network. And in the, in the middle is the uh, flexibility series. So in this package, we basically offer uh, a flexibility for the customer, no matter it's from the, the features or from the uh, TCO, right? So it's a USG Flex Series firewall to, to deliver the uh, full-blown uh, UTM services. And the performance series AP, basically that's a balance of the price and the performance. So NWA 1000 series and NWA 200 and 100 series, they are uh, Wi-Fi 6 APs as well, right? And then that's our best selling Nambula Flex Switch GS1920 series, okay? This is the, one of our best seller. Okay, lots of customers really enjoy the feature and the, and the solid design of the product, right? And then the last thing I would like to announce is the uh, Simplasti series. And you can see that there's a, uh, it's com they, they, they are a couple of products in this, uh, in this range, right? The first is a small business firewall, it was 20 series. Uh, that's the signature product we have for the uh, small business customer for years already. And now the USG 20 could again manage by the Nebula. So imagine that's the perfect combination, right? We have a rock solid firewall to deliver robust VPN and also now managed by Nebula. So that means easy to manage and a solid feature put together. I think that's a, one of the very uh, competitive package in the market. And the second is a small business AP. This is a, our, uh, our hero product, the NWA 50 series. Okay, it's a Wi Fi 6 and, and it's very competitive, right? So uh, the third thing is, is a new product. It will come in the quarter one very soon, and it's our uh, our our best one of our best seller, the uh, smart switch. And now the smart switch, we it's it's supporting the neighbor management. So imagine you put these three hero products together, that's create a very competitive package in the small business uh, segment. Right. Okay, then the license uh, in the Nebula, we we uh, supply. Uh, different tier of the uh, license contract. I begin with the base pack. The base pack means the uh, license free. So this is for the customer that they don't need uh, the complex features. They just try, try to make it simple. Okay, they just want to understand the device is uh, alive or not, right? So this is uh, the base pack is for the, uh, the customer who just need a simple functionality and easy management, right? And on the other hand, the pro pack is for serious customers. Customers. So all the uh, Nebula feature sets are included in the pro pack. Okay, topology, the uh, logs, okay, keep the year round, and also the advanced security feature like CDR. These are all supported from the uh, pro pack, right? And sitting in the middle is the plus pack, and this is a new product, with new license we offer. Because we uh, talked to our partner, then we realized that yeah, we we spot out some most uh, appreciated features. Okay, and we, uh, we, we package these features and into a uh, smaller package. So we, we call it plus pack. So the plus pack, I would say, is in the balance of the price and uh, performance. Right? And the last thing is the MSP pack. And this is a license solely for the MSP. So for those uh, MSP partners, they have the need to manage multiple customers' network. Right? So for example, if you have the need to, uh, to uh, clone the uh, settings from one network site belong to organization A, and over to another network site in the organization B, then the MSP pack is what you need, right? Another a new feature we come in October is we call it the uh, MSP alerts. So basically it's a tool for you to efficiently uh, tailor the uh, other settings for all the organizations you manage or selected organizations you manage, right? So this is can helping MSP to efficiently uh, configure the other setting. Alert is so important when you are managing customers. Network. You need to uh, understand what happened in the first place, right? So that's why we designed this uh, NSP alert feature for our uh, partners. And then talk about the security license, all right? And the content filter pack is designed for the uh, Simplicity series, UG20 firewall, right? So it's a license. Uh, it could work on the Nebula cloud and also it could work with the on-premise, right? And in the middle, 
is the uh, UG Flex license. There are two things. One is a secure Wi-Fi, which helping our customers to build a uh, agile uh, network infrastructure to support the remote work with security, right? And the second is a UTM security pack. This is the license of the full-blown UTM. So this can help customers to deal with the network threats, right? And then on the top of the line is the Go security pack. It basically that's the for serious customers. So it's a one-stop shopping, including everything, the UTM, advanced threat protection, and also even including the secure Wi-Fi and Nebula Pro pack. So it's everything included. So we can see from this table, you can see the difference of the different license packs, right? Content filter for small business customers, right? They just need a simple management and some limited uh, features. And on the top of line, Go Security Pack is one-stop shop, so everything included. It's easy and you get everything. And in the middle, you will see Flex UTM security pack and that's uh, we offer more flexible options for our uh, YouTube Flex customers, right? So this is basically the license we try to uh, offer from the Nebula and with uh, integration with more more security features. All right, so uh, hope you like it. Uh, again, we always working on how to uh, transform the Nebula from the uh, NMS to the uh, security solution because we believe that with adding more security, we can truly help our customers to build a agile network to support the uh, hybrid work. Okay, so thank you. So uh, thank you, Justin. So right now we will go ahead and take some time for questions. So just a reminder, please be sure that you type your questions into the question box in the control panel. And in the Q&A sections, I'd like to invite our technical support engineer, Barney Borgario, and Justin to answer a few of the questions, the, uh, um, the audience that leave earlier. Let's see. So um, it seems like we have a few questions now. Okay, so maybe, this will lead to Justin. So uh, what's the biggest difference between Nebula Together and other same level uh, SMB solutions? Okay, that's a good question, one. Uh, there are a couple of things I would like to echo to this question. Uh, first, remember we just launched Nebula three years ago. So at that moment, actually it is still at the moment. Uh, Nebula is the first uh, full stack uh, cloud-based network management system tailored made for the SMB customer. This including integration of the wireless access points, Ethernet switches, and also the professional firewalls, right? That's the first thing. And the second is, uh, we are not just talking about the network management on the Nebula from day one, right? In Nebula, you can always find, find some value features for our customer to improve in their network performance. So let me be just a, a few examples. Wireless health monitor is helping our customer to tweaking the performance of the Wi-Fi network automatically, right? And also the uh, IPTV function for the switches, so you can easily uh, tracking the usage of the IPTV channel in the network. This is quite useful in the hotel, right? And not to mention, we offer the full blown UTM service, and this is actually leading in the industry among the uh, competitors, right? And don't forget, on top of that. As I show you in the beginning of this today's webinar, we are aiming to adding more security features, right? We are adapting the zero trust methodology and we are designing new features to helping our customer to tackle with the threats in the hybrid work environment, All right? So I would say uh, the Nebula is a solution which is really competitive in this segment. Okay, so uh, right now we have uh, questions coming in from Harry. So Harry, please address your questions and unmute yourself. Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, I just press on the prompt button. Sorry, no question, thank you. Okay, so uh, the next questions is, okay, so Justin, you mentioned Sysio applied the same security across networks. Can you talk us, more about the, how it actually works while using the uh, Zytel devices or the services. Okay, so so the idea is again the environment is changing, right? 
uh, in the past, the, uh, the companies, they never was fixed in the same parameter, right? And now the world, because of pandemic, is, is changed completely, right? It changed the way people connected network. It changed the way how people access all the network, right? So since your per network parameter is no longer fixed, it's, uh, it, it could be that the employee could be working from home, could be working from the branch, could be work from the, uh, you know, in the cafe, right? So the idea is how we can helping the IT professional to build this network with the security. So that's where the uh, same security across networks. Yeah, that's where the ideas comes from, right? So through a presentation, I think you already know that the Nebula solution, we offer several options to helping our customer to deal with the security among different networks, right? Just give a few example. In the headquarter, you got a full blown UTN with advanced threat protection, and also in in the uh, in the employee's home household, you basically we offer the uh, RAP remote access point that supporting secure tunnel and also doing the uh, two factor authentication to make sure that the strict security control could be applied and enforced even the the, the employees access the office network from their 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 home. And not to mention, we also uh, offer the uh, security extender solution, which builds secure tunnel and also enforcing a 2FA, right? And, and also uh, throttling the traffic. So these are the uh, network elements that are uh, spending in different locations, right? And also don't, don't forget, these are all glued and managed by the Nebula. So from central, you can basically provision the same the security policy over to to the remote uh, AP or to the security extender or to the remote firewalls, right? So by doing this, we, by integrating all this, we believe the Nebula solution can helping our customers to achieve same security across all networks. Okay. So um, the third question is coming from Vietnam. Uh, I'm using your AP series. So what's your plan in the future? Maybe this one we explore me, you know? I'm glad to answer the question. So from near the end of Justin's presentation, we saw that we have a wide range of access point portfolio. Uh, we cover easy to configure entry level APs all the way to our high end models with 11AX support. The NWA50 series are our new 11AX APs, uh, which are specifically designed for use in small businesses and home offices. It comes with the right features, fit for small business networking. Uh, these 11AX products, which have great value with flexible management options, uh, like on-premise and on-cloud, uh, not to mention the high-level specs and affordable pricing. What's coming for next year, we will also have more 11AX APs with smart antenna, which is ideal for extreme density environments. Okay, this answer your questions. Um, the next one is about uh, security licenses. So uh, can you explain more about the security licenses for use with Nebula security appliances? So Justin. Okay. Uh, again, uh, as our strategy is um, adding more security functions to helping our customer to protect them, the network, right? So we basically uh, divide our security into three different tiers, you could say, right? So the first thing is the uh, simplicity tier, right? So it is uh, uh, designed for the customer, small business customer. So imagine in some verticals in the uh, cafe or in the retail chain, right? They just need a firewall with a very simple uh, protection, right? So the uh, content builder pack is designed for this uh, uh, small business segment, right? They could uh, use the content builder pack to, uh, to manage the behavior and UIO stress on the network. Right. And top of line product segment is the uh, ultimate series, right? This is for serious customer. They need a, they, they got more complex network. They need a more uh, complex uh, nebula, comprehensive nebula features. They need uh, full blown uh, security protections, right? So in this, 
in this segment, basically it's the ATP uh, Gold Security Pack. So basically what you get is uh, everything. Okay, it's a one-stop shopping, right? And then the last thing is the uh, flexibility series. So in this range, we offer more features compared to Simplicity. However, we also offer a flexibility. Right? So you can choose the, uh, the features you need from this, uh, this range. So the uh, flexibility series uh, could work with the uh, UG Flex firewalls, right? So you got uh, more purchase options in this range. Okay. Okay. Um, the next questions will be: uh, Can you make an examples of how you elaborate the MSP alerts? So it can help us understand better. So Barney, please. Okay. Uh, so the MSP alert is one of those features that we got a, a lot of requests for, and we're happy that we are able to finally release this in the recent update. For MSPs or managed service providers, you can imagine that their business model revolves around providing a quick response to outages or security risk from their client's network. MSP alert allows an MSP user account to easily set and receive alerts across all their clients, organizations, and sites. With MSP alert, an MSP user just needs to set an alert template once, and all organizations and sites managed by this MSP user account is applied with the same alert settings. Uh, compare this with before we had MSP alert, uh, our MSP users have to access each individual site anytime they need to set or update uh, the site's alert settings. For example, uh, an MSP is perhaps managing 10 organizations with 10 sites each. That means without MSP alert, the MSP user needs to access all 100 sites and painstakingly set the same alerts each time. Uh, but with MSP alert, the MSP user only needs to set or update their alert template. And this setting is automatically applied to all 100 sites across those different organizations. Okay. All right, so um, next questions I'm sure will be for Justin. So uh, it says, I have already purchased the uh, Nebula service pack. Can I migrate ATP's gold security pack with Nebula? Okay. Uh, you know, in October, we uh, bring the ATP to the Nebula, right, with the new firmware upgrade. So if you have, you, want, you really want to connect your ATP firewall to the Nebula, then the first thing is you need to upgrade the firmware to the ZOD 5.1, that's first. And the second is about the Ghost Security Pack. Ghost Security Pack is the license for the ATP for years already. So I believe on your ATP firewall, you got the license still running. So uh, as long as you connect to the Nebula Cloud, uh, your, your Ghost Security Pack license continue to, to operate, continue to function, all right? So that means all your security features from the GoPack, sandboxing, reputation filter, anytime malware, content filtering, everything continue to operate on the Nebula Cloud, all right? That's first. And the second thing is, uh, Remember, I just told you that the Go Security Pack is a one-stop shopping design. So that means not just security features, but also the Nebula Pro Pack is included in the uh, Go Security Pack, right? So for the ATP customer, as long as you got the, still got a valid uh, Go Security Pack contract, then when you connect it to the Nebula Cloud, then you also got a Pro Pack, right? So this is, I think it's a good news for our existing ATP customer whenever they try to connect their ATP over to the uh, Nebula Cloud. And for the new customer, they purchase a, a fresh new ADP, no problem, still the, the device built in with the Go Security Pack. So these are uh, advanced security features and also Nebula Perfect are already included in that, from that purchase. So hope, hope that answering your question. And the last thing I try to remind everyone here is uh, since the ATP Go Security Pack already including the uh, Nebula Pro Pack, right? So remember, you cannot link 
a uh, Nebula Protect license directly to the HTTP firewalls, right? We does not support this scenario. So whenever you want to renew your contract for your ATP, you renew only the GoPack. The only option is the GoPack. And remember, the GoPack is already including the security features and also the Nebula Pro Pack, right? So this is the last reminder for everyone here. Thank you. Okay. Okay, the next question is about uh, Secure Extender VPN client. So um, before the uh, work from home just started a few months ago, uh, so these customers purchase Secure Extender and want to know that what's the new functions recently? All right, since the hybrid world becomes more popular, right? So we, our strategies try to create more features that helping our customer to deal with this kind of uh, ever-changing environment, right? So Secure Extender is one area we are we are very excited about. We really put lots of uh, uh, focus in this area, right? So in October, we also I also want to announce with you that the new version of the security center will be available in October as well. So the features I mentioned during the webinar could be uh, fulfilled from this uh, new release, that including the provision from Nebula. From Nebula, you can directly provision your remote VPN clients, no matter it's 5, 10, 20, 100 remote employees. No problem, you can provision from Nebula easily as first. The second is we support the, uh, the provision of the Nebula, we uh, will keep the highest level of security. So we are using the, the parameter setting is the uh, IKV2 plus the EAP. So this will build a high, uh, a strong, uh, this will, will build a tunnel with a strong cipher with the uh, strict authentication in between the uh, client and also the remote VPN gateways. And also not to mention, we does support the 2FA. So the tunnel, uh, the, the access is only allowed whenever the uh, used employee's identity was, uh, was approved through the uh, two-factor authentication process. And this happened with the popular Google authenticator or the uh, Microsoft authenticator. And the last thing, last thing of the, the product is uh, the security center. It's, uh, it's supporting the bandwidth management. So you can provision this bandwidth usage settings over to the security center uh, client and it will helping you to enforce the bandwidth usage policy from that endpoint. All right. So this uh, product uh, is a uh, subscription based. So the license could be available from your dealer or available from the ISO official uh, official uh, marketplace or circle. So thank you. Okay, uh, Barney, I have an interesting one for you. So uh, how many ways that we can purchase ISO license? Huh. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, we have uh, two, three, we have four places where you can purchase our licenses. Okay, the first is you can purchase from our resellers. And the second is from uh, e-tailers. Uh, so places like Amazon and eBay, for example. The third is from our site, so Marketplace. And the fourth is a special place exclusive to our partners. Uh, that's what we call Circle. So if you are a site, so partner and you've got more devices and licenses that need to be managed, uh, go to the site, so Circle platform, which provides a simple and flexible way uh, for our partners to purchase a bunch of licenses. Okay. So I think, okay, I got one more. So uh, what's the biggest reasons or, or benefits I can get from purchasing online on your um, Zysil circle rather than purchasing offline? So Barney? Okay, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, one benefit of both Zyxel Circle and the Zyxel Marketplace is that it is designed to filter available licenses and recommend the best choices for your devices. It also offers auto activation of licenses, so you no longer need to spend uh, extra time on license key registration and manual activation process. If you are an end user, uh, purchase licenses through the Zyxel marketplace. 
and this gives you a single click shop experience. Uh, if you are our partner, you can be invited to join the Zyxel Circle platform. Uh, after verification, uh, you will get a special prize, easy to manage not just your license status, but also your customer's subscription services. Okay. So um, there's um, all the questions that I got. Is there any other questions? that you would like to ask, rest your hand or um, leave the message. Okay, so it looks like that we covered all of the questions today. Thank you for joining us today and looking forward to meet you again on Nebula. Hope you enjoyed today's webinar. So here you have the QR code that you can scan and uh, that you can see the solution page that we prepared. And there will be uh, several new features that we mentioned during the webinar. Thank you again, everyone.